What's up Rebels, what's up Pride Crew? Doug here at Pride Conditioning with your Monday motivation every single week. And this week we are talking about something not necessarily negative, but kind of on the flip side of the way I usually go about talking about these Monday motivation videos. This week we are talking about unrealistic goals and staying away from them. Ready? Here we go. All right, Rebels, so normally I like to go about these Monday motivations in a very motivational, positive kind of way. And it, usually I see something over the past week or the weekend or today that kind of sparks me talking to you guys about you know, being positive, believing in yourself, setting goals, making plans, and following through, staying dedicated to that plan. So this week, I actually want to kind of reverse that a little bit, and this week I want to talk about staying away from unrealistic goals and how you can kind of see an unrealistic goal before you get you know, lost in it and trying to achieve something that is just not possible. So what sparked this was I was listening to a podcast from a guy named Mark Twite, and his podcast is called The Dissect Podcast, if I am not mistaken. Uh, I've only listened to a couple episodes, but he's a good guy, and he works his ass off, and it shows. You can see he works out, he takes care of himself. Obviously, you know, he's got good genetics, but genetics will only take you so far. He eats right, he takes care of himself. Um, he's got a really great Instagram account, so if you look up Mark Twight, all right, follow him. Really good uh, Instagram account to follow. Lots of positivity and lots of good ideas, but he talked in his Dissect podcast about staying away from unrealistic goals, and this comes from guys, young guys, young, I'll say kids, you know, teenagers, young guys in their young 20s, seeing these Instagram models and bodybuilders and famous people in movies and on TV with these just shredded, ripped bodies. And, you know, people are saying that, you know, it makes them feel like shit because, you know, they work and work and work and yet they can't achieve that, that physique. It, it's impossible. Look, I'm gonna tell you guys something, and this isn't a big secret in the fitness world. Almost anybody who is in the bodybuilding world or is on TV or in movies and you see them, they're shredded, they're ripped. It's not natural. Number one, they are a professional. They're paid to look like that. So they put all their time and effort into looking like that. If you don't have hours a day and lots of money to put into that, it's not gonna happen, okay? Second, almost all of them are taking some form of drugs. You know, whether this is, you know, true steroids or SARMs or uh, peptides, there's so many different things that you can take to help you get shredded when just working out and eating right is not gonna cut it. So these guys have got the money and they have the doctors to tell them what to take and how much to take. If you don't have that, it's not gonna happen. So I'm not telling you to go after, to, to completely abandon your goals of being ripped. Listen, I don't have the best genetics. I have to work my ass off and I have to eat somewhat right in order to look the way that I look. I'm usually about 10% body fat. 
My body does not want to be 10% body fat, okay? My body wants to be like 15% body fat at least. I have to work to stay where I am. I can blow up really easily. The unfortunate thing is I can also shrink really easily. So if I don't eat enough, I will actually gain fat, but I will look smaller, which is not a good thing. So I'm gonna go way, way, way back in my life and talk to you guys about an unrealistic goal. So as a kid, legit, I wanted to be an astronaut. I, I absolutely, I kid you not, I wanted to be an astronaut. Badder than you could believe. The problem was my math skills are not the best which is odd because you know, I've been through you know, trigonometry and all sorts of high level statistics and other math courses going through college that it seemed like I was pretty good at it. And really I'm not. I was just regurgitating memorized stuff. I'm actually not good at the problem solving portion. I actually don't understand how to get from point A to point B. A lot of times I can get from point A to point B, but I can't explain to you how I got there, which is not good. So my engineering skills were not the best, but what lacked the most was my science and chemistry skills. There was no way I was ever going to pass chemistry. I mean, not even, no way possible. Now, some people might say, oh, you know, that's negative attitude. You should have, you know, really, if you put forth 100% effort and really tried, you know, you could have done it. I don't know if, if that's true or not. So I've decided to not pursue that dream. And I'm honestly very glad that I didn't because I think I would have wasted a lot of time and been very disappointed had I not met that goal. So this is where we get into, I'm gonna bring it back around now, to the people with the ripped, shredded bodies, the professionals. These people are professionals, they have millions of dollars, they have the time, the energy, the money, the doctors, the drugs, the personal chefs, the personal trainers, they have it all. So for a normal, average person to say that they wanna look like this, if you're not willing to dedicate that time or dedicate the money or the resources to doing exactly what you see these people doing, these famous people in movies and TV and on Instagram, it's not gonna happen. It is an unrealistic goal. And you are going to, unfortunately, fall very short of that goal. I'm not telling you you can't get ripped. I'm not telling you you can't look better than you look right now. You can, I absolutely promise you that. But these guys that are 225, 245, and 5% body fat, that's not natural, okay? It is absolutely not natural. So what I'm telling you is to stay away from unrealistic goals. I want you to have really lofty, really high goals for yourself. But it's these unrealistic goals when you don't have the genetics, the resources to put to achieving that goal, you're gonna be very disappointed in six months, a year, two years, three years when you still have not hit that goal. And that right there is another part of an unrealistic goal is seeing these people that look like this and thinking that you can go from looking like a slob to looking like a movie star in six months. There aren't enough drugs on this planet. There isn't a workout program that you could follow that can make that happen. These guys, if you look at guys like The Rock or you know, uh, even Hugh Jackman, these guys have been training for years years. I have been training for over 10 years now. So for you to set yourself up for failure, is really not a good thing. So what I want you guys to do is think about your goals and I want you to think, are they lofty enough? Are they actually attainable or are they just out of the stratosphere? Now, I always tell people, you know, set your goals super high and even if you make it 90% of the way, 
that's still 90% further than you were today. So set those crazy high lofty stratosphere goals. Just know that you might not get 100% there. You might only get 90% there, which makes you 90% better than you were when you started. And that's the point, it's all about improvement. But I don't want you guys to set yourselves up for failure. So be careful looking at these people, famous people, and trying to look like them when you don't, it's just not gonna happen. So set your goals, set them high, right? Reach for the stars, land on the moon. That's Monday Motivation for this week, guys. Peace. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.